Shalom, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our prince of peace thereof. I am the one who needs to stop and smell the rose of Sharon much more than I have ever before. We need to get with the program of love so that we're not going to be destroyed. This is the most important video that has ever been made on YouTube. There will never be a more important one because the prophecy is the only thing that can cut time short, as Jesus said in uh, Matthew 24, 22. And the Lord has shown me what to do here, uh, but I can't make people watch me. People have disowned me, uh, and they're not they're spitting at me because I preach that God loves everyone equally, and people are far too apostate to receive that message. This is about the survival of all people from World War III. So I suggest you lose your, your obsolete, uh, uh, backwards uh, religiosity that would just cause your own death. So no, for all the people of Russia, the truth is this. Uh, the R Rasputin, he accurately predicted that there would be two world wars and then the third, the worst, would come. And this is what he says about it. Uh, so it came to pass that Gregory Rasputin of Russia predicted these exact latter days by stressing in 1912 that his mother Russia would receive really bad troubled times in the end days unless the future king of his homeland of the north, the king of the north, unless he did not embrace the temptation of not sticking with the Lord's most glorious faith of love. Um, and he said that when times uh, draw near to the abyss, man's love for man will turn into a dry plant and would cause a total of three world wars. Two of them have already passed, but the one for Putin is just beginning. And he said of that third uh, war that a, a third hungry snake would be crawling along the roads of Europe to leave nothing behind but ash and smoke. And after he spoke the, the kingdom, uh, after he spoke of the kingdom age, uh, Gregory Rasputin said, and by the way, go see that movie uh, Kingsman. Uh, with Rasputin in it. Man, I, I love you. I, I forget your name, the actor that played you. Uh, but uh, look, the guy that played Rasputin, man, he did a great job. I'd give I'd give him an Academy Award easily. And uh, I understand that in real life, Gregory was assassinated, but he was a hard guy to put down. And uh, praise God for his resilience. And so shall his prophecy now find the resilience it needs with the Russian people. People of Russia, listen to Gregory Rasputin, and he said this, and I have tried not to change hardly any of his words to keep it as authentic as possible. Um, and so he spoke of the kingdom age, saying uh, that by God's word that the golden time of peace would be able to arise as a phoenix from the ashes, but the world would be written in the vainest blood imaginable up until that point. And he added that a third fire would also be so bad it would burn up the ashes of the other two wars' ashes. Uh, and he said that there would be huge mountains of corpses in the third war, and their blood would stain the waters of the Neva. Uh, so he cautioned uh, all of his beloved Russians to turn around, or else he said it would come to pass that there would hardly be any rest for the living, and there would absolutely be no rest for the dead, since death will soar freely in the heavens and fall as the thickest gross, gross darkness over all people, exactly as Isaiah 60 foretold. And uh, Rasputin added that a multitude of radioactive poisons would end up embracing the earth like a passionate lover. And you know, he did not even know about radioactivity uh, back in 1912. So this was from the Lord, people. And if you don't believe this, Hear the rest of this. Uh, and in such a deadly embrace, Rasputin said the heavens would find the breath of death most disgusting. And in the springs of water, they will turn most bitter of Wormwood's Chernobyl glory of toxins rejoicing. Chernobyl means Wormwood, and Wormwood means um, vice versa. Uh, and many of those waters, he said, would be far more poisonous than any rotten serpent's blood. 
uh, for thanks to the king of the north, his own Russian people shall end up dying from water and the air. But the propaganda that they'll be saying is that they only died of heart and kidney diseases. Uh, and such bitter waters of the king of the north's legacy of death will even infect time itself. For such bitter waters will give rise to some extremely bitter times ahead. Even the plants of Russia will get sick and die one by one, and forests will only become huge cemeteries, and people stunned and poisoned by the god-awful poisonous rains, they'll wander aimlessly through the dry trees. And uh, one uh, man will be desired by seven women, because so many men will die, as Isaiah 4 foretold. But Gregory said, then the time of peace will come only if change will come. But otherwise, if no change comes, the world will be written in, in blood if people will repent not of their lovelessness. And when the two fires of the first two world wars go out, the third fire of Daniel 11 in the latter days, uh, Daniel 11, 6 says in the latter days, that it will happen by incineration. And few people and few things will survive until the end as the word of God says, but all of that will remain. Uh, everyone left that survived will have to go uh, under a new purification of living underground before the new earthly paradise above could ever be. Uh, and in those days of the king of the north, uh, he said the time will come when the sun will start crying and his tears will fall on fiery sparks, burning plants and people. The deserts will advance like raging horses without a rider, and the plast and the uh, and the pastures will turn to sand. Gregory said, and uh, will become the rotten navel of the earth. The tender grass of the meadows and the leaves of the trees will then disappear, said Rasputin. For two deserts will rule, only two: the desert of sand and the desert of night. And life will go out totally under the burning sun and ice cold. The air that enters our lungs to carry life will one day bring death. And the day will come when there will be no more mountains, no hills, no lakes, no seas that are not shrouded in the ominous breath of death, he stressed. And all people will breathe death. They won't have a choice. And all people doing that will die of poisons that are filling the air. People are heading for a disaster, he said. The most inept will drive the car. Uh, and in Russia and France, Italy and other places, humanity will be crushed by the footsteps of a madman, the king of the north. Scoundrels uh, will he be. Uh, wisdom will then be chained. The ignorant and the domineering will dictate laws to the wise and even to the humble. And then most of them will believe those who are in power foolishly and blindly, the blind following the blind, and then they will lose faith in God's love. And uh, back then, in 1912, he said that God's punishment would be happening next century for the last uh, uh, war. And then, at last, Rasputin said that wisdom would be freed. There is a chance that it could be freed by the, uh, freed of the chains by Elijah. Uh, and all people of love could once again choose to turn to trust God as ch children trust their mother. And along that path, they would come to our earthly paradise returning. That'll be waiting like Eden ahead of them, as the prophet Joel foretold. But, but Rasputin also warned that when a continuous shudder passes through the earth, they should never ever take their eyes off of the east. Don't do it! Don't do it, he say. Don't do it. For from the east, Israel, because I'm sending Israel messages that their Israel has now been changed their name to Chrislam, Isaiah 62, 2, because they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3. And Rasputin said that messenger alone will come to prepare the way, and that's why all faith will be obsolete in this world, exactly as Hebrews uh, uh, Hebrews 8 foretold when you hear those words, I will be your God, you will be my people. And because his message will at first be refused, and he foresaw that people would not uh, accept this message of love at first, he 
He said that if Russians repent not of their lovelessness, so shall it be that the seas will end up entering cities and houses like thieves, and lands will become salty, and salt will enter the waters, and there will be no water that is not salty. Salty lands will bear no more fruit, and if they do, it will be bitter fruit, poison fruit. Therefore, survivors of the fools rejecting God's message of his kingdom ages love, uh, for all people shall sadly come to see fertile lands turn into nothing but salty swamps, and other lands will be dried up by the growing heat. Man will find himself in the salty rain uh, and wandering on the salty ground between drought and flood. The barns will be full, and streams of cool water will flow, he said, and the trees will bear fruit. But whoever eats of that grain or drinks of the water will die, and whoever eats of the fruit will also die. Only the fruits harvested by the previous generation will not contain death. In the lands where the olives used to grow, Israel, there will only be snow, for everything will mix at this time. Mountains will be where there were once seas, and where there are seas it will be where there were once mountains. So according to uh, Rasputin, uh, if this message does not get out to uh, uh, them to cut time short, I, I, I'm ashamed of anyone who hears this message facing World War III and is so friggin' unloving and stupid in their uh, all their understandings of what love is supposed to mean. Uh, because nothing but terrible cataclysms will definitely happen if Russia does not abandon Putin or Putin hear this message. Either way, time can be cut short. Otherwise, it will be nothing but days of terrifying trouble. Therefore, Rasputin emphasized, saying that a certain uh, czar, guardian angel, the Elijah of this age, would come forth to prevent all the death born of unloving foolishness by urging all of uh, Rasputin's fellow Russians to change and to hug tightly the Lord's Elijah task message uh, that that the world uh, needs from the spirit of Elijah that will return. Uh, and the reason he said that it, it, his spirit would return uh, would be so the time of wind, fire, and water and fire, uh, the time of wind, water, and fire won't even have to come to cut it all the time short. And man, if you see that light of love burning in that eagle, know it's time to fly with this one. For he is the fluttering dove of love with the whitest wings thereof, our most regal eagle of the eons. And in this hour he arises to the great white throne of our majesty of majesty, our heroes of heroes our icon of icons, and upon the great white throne uh, he stands and he has the sickle of his love and he has put it into this earth so that prophecy can cut time short. And uh, if people will hear, then everything can change for love's sake, who is God, for those who love are born again of him and know him because he is love. Uh, and then if people will hear hope's very best news, Life, even in Siberia, will bloom with many brand new colors, and the places in, uh, and the palaces in St. Petersburg will bloom with lemon trees, uh, Gregory Rasputin said. Uh, then Gregory said that the prayers of that kingly messenger named Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, who's the alcoholic whose eyes are red and dull of wine, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, uh, the vision was written for the point of time at the end, so those who read it, they may run, run, run at this vision of Rasputin. My God. Uh, uh, and that the prayers, my prayers, will be carried away by the wind. And with the wind, God will be able to return his mercy if people will just start uh, living for love by returning his terrifying anger. God says, I'll return my terrifying anger. I'll stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart to be loving people. Vladimir, don't be a, don't raise up uh, the Kodiak rabid uh, sleeping bear. Raise up a teddy bear. That is, you could be the leader of love. Baba Vanga saw it. I do too. And I have faith in you that you could make the right decision if you will ever hear 
this message if people will ever share it. But people are brain dead out there. They would rather die than share something that they don't like the sound of. Oh, oh, you mean God loves everybody equally? Oh my God, false prophet! And at that time, that same wind will bring yet another king of love's greatest glory, Emmanuel, said Rasputin, who will have much greater power than any former sovereigns have ever had. Man, you guys got to share this message with Russia. It can cut time short, exactly as Matthew 24, 22 says. This is the most important message uh, and most important channel on YouTube, and nobody's watching it. Nobody.